Hi, this is PDF Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com, and this is an editorial, but a bit more of an announcement. Uh, the other day during live chat, we were talking about uh, people that didn't have the ability to post their demos up on any websites. Either they just don't have hosting or they just don't have access to uh, a website to put it up on. So we've been talking it over, and we've decided we we're going to allow people to do it on Bergzerg Arcade. But I don't actually want to host the files myself because if, I, if everyone puts their files up there, then uh, I'm not really sure what kind of strain that would put on the server as well as uh, the bandwidth. So we've come up with another solution. Now I'm going to open up Firefox and there's a website called Dropbox.com. So we'll just head over there. There's a video to watch how it works and a link to download it. Now, of course, it's available for Windows, Mac, a bunch of different mobile devices. I get the desktop version that you're running on. So after you get that done, install it, watch the video, see how it works, and then go to your project. And I'm going to open that up. And if you go to the File menu, go to Build Settings, and make sure you've selected uh, Web Player. Now, you may have to switch platforms. And if you do, it's going to re-encode everything for you, so it could take a little while. But after you're done that, uh, let's come over here and let's take a look at the default resolutions. Now, on the website right now, the max resolution is 930 by 540, so 930 wide by 540 high. Once you have your resolution set, just go ahead and click Build, and it'll go through and make a web build for you. And I've already done that, so let's go ahead and open up my save folder that it puts it to. You'll see here it created a web build for me, and you get a .html file and a .unity3d file. Uh, the HTML file we're not worried about, it's just this file here that we're going to have to work with. And now the web dot part, uh, well the part before the dot, the web, that's just uh, what I named it when I saved it. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. What we're going to want to do is open up our Dropbox. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. And we're going to want to go to the public one. Now I've already gone in here and created a hierarchy. Uh, you can create it wherever you want and I'm just gonna go to demos because this is where I save it and we're just gonna take it drag it and drop it in now I've already gone ahead and done that and what it does is it uploads that file to the Dropbox server and when it's done doing that you can just right click go to Dropbox and copy public link uh, you can also go to the main website as well and get it so I'll just click on that. It's going to bring me over to my Dropbox. And I can also copy my public link this way. So once I have that, I'm going to head over to the Unity site. And I'm going to come down and create content. Now you'll notice at the bottom here it says Dropbox Unity Game. Now I'll probably end up changing the name. Uh, maybe I'll probably call it embedded unity game or non-hosted unity game something along that line the unity game part will still be there but go ahead and click that and it's going to ask you for a title so whatever the title you want for your game and then in the body you're just going to add a description uh, basically give the controls that the person's going to need to move around uh, as well as any maybe story you want to put in here you're free to put pretty much whatever you want in there uh, we're going to scroll down to the unity web player and a game icon. It is required and well let's just close that. Uh, you'll notice it can be PNG, uh, GIF, JPG or JPEG and it has to be at least a 32 by 32 and between 60, uh, 640 by 480 and it has to be under one mag. So that's pretty liberal uh, standard. You can pretty much put whatever you want up there. Uh, it's just going to be the icon representation for your game. And then we'll come down here. And this is where you'll want to paste that link that you get from your Dropbox. And we'll come down a little bit high, lower. And it's going to ask you for the height and the width. And you'll notice here that it tells you how big and how small it can be, like the min maxes. And I haven't updated the text yet for uh, the width, but it is actually 930. Now, after you have that done, we're going to head over to Vocabularies. And right now, since we're all just doing an RPG style game, I've only added a couple options. Uh, we're probably all going to be an RPG, but if you need another category, just let me know. I'll go ahead and add it. And then the tags down here, you're free to tag whatever you want. 
uh, your game is. But if it is part of uh, the, like the tutorial series, if it's your demo for it, make sure you use the H and S tag. And of course, if you want to have more, you can put a comma. Maybe yours is a space scene one. So you'll want space and, you know, maybe you're fighting against Martians. Uh, whatever else you want, just make sure the comma separated and you can put quite a few in there. But like I said, make sure you have the H and S tag in there. Now I've already gone ahead and created it. Meta tags is going to be disappearing, so don't worry too much about that. So I've already gone ahead and created one and put it up there. So let's just go look at it. Here's the hack and slash basic tutorial for me. So it's loading up and there we go. So as we see, I have a very small resolution right now. It's uh, 720p, so I'm looking at 1280 by 720. And my game is 930 by uh, 523, I think it was. But as you can see here, you have you know, your game, you have the description of the me. Uh, this is all from the description. And of course, you have your tags and well comments if anyone leaves you on it. But anyway, that's how you can upload your game to Major's Arcade, and I hope you enjoyed, and good luck. Bye-bye.